let's just say there's 19 applications in my future. everyone welcome back to my channel road to phd my name is kimberly i major in nutrition and minor in chemistry and i plan on getting my phd so come on this journey with me i am so excited to have you guys here today because today i'm going to tell you all about my plans for the summer what i've been up to and what i plan to do if you're new here or if you haven't subscribed make sure you hit that subscribe button so that other viewers just like you can find this video and since you're here might as well like it as well I made this video so you can all learn a little bit more about me. Some of you may know me personally, but a lot of you don't. We've surpassed the 200 subscribers mark, and I honestly don't know 200 people. So I want to sincerely thank you for coming on this journey with me. We're only at the beginning, and I really foresee this channel following me all throughout my PhD. So another 6-7 years of my life documented. Let's jump right into it. So this summer, I had an internship lined up at the Icon School of Medicine at Mount Sinai in New York City in microbiology, but it got canceled due to the pandemic. And so I did not look into more internships. I actually have a lot to do this summer and I count it as a blessing. The most exciting part about this summer is that I am applying to grad school. I have been looking forward to this day since I um, was a senior in high school and I'm very excited that it's coming to fruition. If you want to know more about the resources that I have been using such as the Yale Boucher Bootcamp or MD PhD Demystified, please check out my latest video here. And so I am applying to 13 grad schools. This is not on my own doing. As I mentioned in some previous video, I am a Karstum scholar and they require that I apply to 13. If it was up to me, I would have applied to 8 and 10. Between 8 and 10 seems reasonable is what the experts say. But 13 is just in case I want to use one scholarship offer to confer the other. Like, hello, this school is offering me more. Step your money up. Or um, I just don't get into any of the, or I only get into one. Do you have to say, so just giving myself a wide range of options is really difficult because PhDs are very niche. So you have to know what you want and who does it. And there are so many different angles to look at a project or to look at research. And it's important to find the right person who looks at it the same way you want to look at it. And so I have gone through at least 50 schools, going through their website, not gone to, gone through online, and like gone through their website, looked at faculty, used Google Scholar. Again, I detailed what you can do in that video, so go check it out. And I'll be making more videos about this in the future once I complete the process, so make sure you hit that subscribe button. And then the next thing I do for the day, this is in an hour, a three hour block, is review my nutrition courses. Um, as I said, I am a majoring in nutritional sciences, but uh, it has a concentration in dietetics. So when I graduate, I can become a registered dietitian. It requires that I know everything from freshman year up until senior year and beyond. So I've really been trying to take the summer to just review what I learned last semester, medical nutrition therapy, nutrition care management, advanced nutrition, and I also wanna um, emphasize food service management and um, organization management, which I really, really don't understand I just don't get it um so i really have been trying to focus and review that while i have the extra time so that when i go back to school it's already layered on and i don't have to really just like oh when did i learn that why is that concept a thing why do we only give tube feedings for this long just certain things like that so i really recommend that if you're in a program that's continuous any science course really builds on each other math is the same way so if you can really master the basics and make sure you really comprehend what's happening i know the semester is really fast so if you could take some weeks over the summer and just look it over i think it would do you some good so this is the most dreaded part of my day i don't like it it's from 11 a.m to 3 p.m every single day is studying for the gre also known as the graduate readiness exam i cannot tell you how many times i have rescheduled this test so this is the old book that i used this is going to be the new one. Computer. She's got her organic chemistry. <laughs> I was supposed to take it in August 
2018. It is now 2020. And I was supposed to take it in January 2020, July 11, 2020, and now I'm taking on July 25th. So hopefully this will be my last go around. I don't, I just don't know what it is about this test that like, to me, it's not real. Like none of the things they're testing me on seems tangible and or important for grad school. It's just, can you do geometry from 10th grade and can you read this article? But it's still really difficult but it would be different if they were asking me like science questions i think if it were the mcat or the dat i would have taken it more seriously but i'm really trying my best so stick around for videos about the gre and how to conquer that when i do make it i am also applying for fellowships uh it's a big part of what i want to do in the future i definitely want to take a gap year that is funded and not just me just like working at a random job i definitely want to have the chance to explore and study abroad so i'm applying for the marshall the mistral the soros the fulbright and and that's it yeah four okay um so i'm applying for all of those programs and they help the marshall and the mitchell send you to the uk but the mitchell specifically sends you to ireland fulbright sends you anywhere in the world most of these programs that i want to do i want to take the research route and so i it takes a lot of self discovery not discovery like you have to be able to put yourself on paper in a way that's presentable and true to yourself but also matches the criteria of what they want and it's just a lot of figuring out where i want to go which has where has the best programs it takes a lot of time i'm telling you applying for fellowships and applying to grad school is a part-time job and i dedicate at least two to three hours per topic every single day and it takes so much out of me and i'm so grateful that um the pandemic has given me this extra time if you were wondering what a fellowship is a fellowship is an award given to a scholar that meets the criteria of said fellowship to continue their studies or to further their career and if you want to know more about fellowships or my experience with fellowships i did apply to truman um, for juniors and i'll link it right here now we can get into some fun things that i have been doing i have been helping coach a pageant um i served as miss blue and white 2019 2020 for phi beta sigma fraternity incorporated alpha chapter on howard university's campus with my platform styles successfully teaching yourself lasting educational skills so i've been helping coach the um, next group of girls who are going to be pageant queens right now we're on a break just with everything that's going on in the world and i um have enjoyed it it's the first virtual pageant i've ever seen and or done so i really like mentorship i really value it and being a pageant coach and a pageant queen has helped me fulfill that role in a different way that i did not see possible another thing that i have been doing this summer is this channel Believe it or not, YouTube takes a lot of time. This is also a part-time job for me. I think I have three part-time jobs and I just make them a full-time job over the summer. None of which make me money, but it's okay. Because um, YouTube takes a lot of time. I have to plan the content. I have to make sure the SEO is good, do a keyword search. Um, everything that you see on this channel has been filmed two to three weeks in advance and um, that's usually my standard of time to edit. I also like putting overlays as you can see, example of an overlay here, um, just so that you can stay more engaged, watching more tips, um, also trying to plan on my Instagram, trying to make it more sciencey as opposed to like less me about me and more about you guys trying to make sure that this is a servant role i consider youtube a form of servant leadership depending on the niche you're in and because i am my aim to inspire and encourage black women in stem i really do enjoy this role so the first thing i do are my core values right and i tried this summer to just come up with some core values to take throughout my life i read it on twitter it was like a challenge and i was like i really want these three things in my life regardless of where i live um how much money i'm making what i'm doing these three things have to be in my life at all times and the first one is my relationship with god like spirituality trying to read 
three chapters of the Bible a day, having Bible study, quiet time by myself, oral health, making sure I floss, spend those real two minutes getting in there. I just invested in a new toothbrush. And then also physical health, making sure I get at least 30 minutes of exercise every single day. If you made it to the end of this video, leave a comment down below and saying that like what you're up to this summer. Stick around for the video on Wednesday where I'll be comparing a post back versus a masters, what you should do, what you shouldn't do, and all of that jazz. And lastly, if you're in high school, if you're a junior or a senior, I am coming up with a new video about how to create a college list of safety schools, reach schools, um, state schools, all the schools you can think of and why you should tier them and what the criteria are. So make sure you hit that subscribe button so that you can be notified as well with the bell. If you want to learn how to graduate debt-free, make sure you check out my friends. The link is in the bio. Um, they really created this amazing program called The Scholarship Expert. Make sure you follow me on Instagram at KimSakeOnHealth. Uh, I'd love to connect with you over there. And if you're into research, STEM, and pop culture, make sure you check out my mentee's podcast in vivo. I'll link it right here. And everything I mentioned is linked in the description box. Thank you so much for following me on this journey, PhD roadies. And I'll see you on the road. Bye.